Hello there, senior high school students! Glad to see you! Welcome back! This video is for senior high school general mathematics for grade 11. Gentle reminders before we begin. Do not forget your paper and pen for you to write your solutions later on. I am sure you'll find it useful. And remember, you can always pause and play this video whenever necessary. And if you want to extend further your understanding for this subject, general mathematics, then do not forget to subscribe. For this video presentation, we will talk about the first module for the first quarter of our subject general mathematics for grade 11. The general topic is real-life functions. We are now in Lesson 3.2 under the topic Operations of Functions. To be specific, that is Subtraction of Functions. What you need to know. We have two main objectives for this session. So at the end of the session, you are expected to follow the steps in subtracting functions and subtract functions. What's in? Let's recall how to properly subtract integers by recalling its rules. Now, similar to the addition of integers, we have set of rules. But this time, for this video presentation, we are going to make use of a strategy for us to easily recall and manipulate integers. Now, let's try to have a look. For example, we have 5 minus 17. To do that, we will be making use of this. Keep, change, change. Now, in our description box below, I am going to post there the reference link for this strategy. Keep, change, change. Now, what do I mean by this? We are going to keep the first integer, keeping its sign. So, we are going to keep it as positive 5. Second, we will change. This time, from subtraction, we will change that to addition. And the last one there is 17. We will change that to negative 17 from positive 17. Were you able to follow? I repeat. We keep positive 5. We change the sign from negative to positive, and we change the given from positive, positive 17 to negative 17. So that's it. Keep, change, change. Keep that in mind. So how do we solve 5 plus negative 17? We will be using the rules in adding integers. So if you want to recall the rules, you may go back to our video for the lesson 3.1 about addition of integers. So for this, we are going to add the result is negative 12. Let's have another example. How about this? 2 minus 9. What do you think is the answer? Is it negative 11, negative 7, 7, or positive 11? I'll give you time. Let's reveal. The correct answer here is... But before that, making sure that you're able to follow, we will be using keep, change, change. So we will keep this. So we'll copy that. So as is, positive 2. We will change that to positive. And finally, we are going to change positive 9 to negative 9. So we have 2 plus negative 9. The answer is negative 7. Very good. How about negative 2 minus negative 9? Which of the choices would be the right answer? I'll give you time. Okay. We will be using keep, change, change. We will keep this. So that will be negative 2. We will change that to positive. And we will also change this to positive 9. So we now have negative 2 plus 9 
And again, recalling the rules of adding integers, we will get the answer. So for this, the right answer is positive 7. Fantastic! How about this? Negative 2 minus 9. We will keep, we will change that, and we will also change this. So it will give us a negative 2 plus negative 9. So the answer for that will be negative 11. Great job! You've got it right. What if you're given like this, 2 minus negative 9? Among the choices, which do you think is the right answer? Alright, so let's reveal. Again, we will be using keep, change, change. Now maybe you're thinking, why are we changing negative or why are we changing subtraction to addition? Now, since we are dealing with a lot of numbers and a lot of integers, it's better if we are going to focus on one set of rules for us to manipulate those integers. We already learned how to add integers from our lesson 3.1, addition of functions. So right now, making use of the same rules in subtracting functions or subtracting integers. We are finding ways for us to easily subtract integers. That will lead us to easily subtract functions. So let's go back. 2 minus negative 9. So we will keep this. We will change that. And we will also change this. So it will give us a 2 plus 9. So note this, that if you have two negative signs beside each other, like this example, we have negative or minus negative 9, it will give us a positive. So it will be written as, another way of writing that will be 2 plus 9. It looks easier now, right? The answer for that will be positive 11. Nice one! Hopefully that refresh your minds on how to properly subtract integers because this will help us in properly subtracting functions as we progress with our lesson. So are we good with that? Great! Let's proceed to our main topic. What's new? How do we subtract functions? Given functions f of x and g of x, we will be using these notations, f of x minus g of x, which means the function f of x is being subtracted to the function g of x. Another way of writing that is this notation, f minus g of x. I repeat, that is f minus g of x. Given f of x is equal to 3x plus 2 and your g of x is equal to 4 minus 5x, let's find the difference. Let's find f of x minus g of x or f minus g of x. To do that, let's follow these steps. 1. Let's find the difference by writing it in this form. f minus g of x is equal to 3x plus 2 minus 4 minus 5x. Where did we get these expressions? This is your f of x, and this one is your g of x. Second step, we are going to arrange. Observe that here, the binomial is not yet arranged in decreasing order of its degree. So we are going to arrange that. It will look like this. From there, we are going to use keep, change, change. So we'll keep this, the first given expression, the f of x, 3x plus 2. We'll copy that. Next is we will change the sign from negative, that is from minus, to plus. And here, the next or the last binomial, which is your g of x, will now be, yes, we will change the signs. So from negative 5x to positive 5x, and from positive 4 will be negative 4. Why are we doing that? Since we have keep change change, we are also changing the signs of all the terms in our polynomial. Here, to be specific, that is your binomial. I hope you understand. 
let's move on after that we will do this we will yes we will take out the parentheses it will look like this and we are going to combine like terms so we are going to have 3x plus 5x and we are also going to combine the constants 2 and negative 4. so here we will be making use of the addition of integers by adding the numerical coefficients of x so we have 3 plus 5 that will give us an 8x and here 2 minus 4 will give us a negative 2. So the answer will be 8x minus 2. That's for method 1. Now we are making use of the same methods in our addition of functions. So we have two methods, so this is for method 1. Let's try to have a look for our method 2, that is the vertical method. This would be your f of x. So we will be making use of keep change change. We will follow that. We will keep that we will change this to positive so we'll have plus from minus then we will change the signs of the expressions so from negative 5x plus 4 it will now be 5x minus 4. making sure that it's arranged or it's aligned to the same variable having the same degree so here we have 3x and 5x and we also have 2 and negative 4 on the next column so let's add 3x plus 5x will give us an 8x. Good. And here, the next line, we have the constants. 2 plus negative 4 will give us a negative 2. So the answer is similar, is exactly the same with our method 1, 8x minus 2. But here, notice that they share a common monomial factor. So if you're going to rewrite this into its factors, we'll have this. 2 multiplied to 4x, those are the factors of your 8x, right? We'll copy minus, and we can write the factors of 2 as 2 and 1. Okay, so here we observe that they have the, or they shared a common monomial factor, that's 2. So we'll take that out, and here, remaining inside the parenthesis will now be 4x and 1. So we have 4x minus 1. So another way of expressing our answer 8x minus 2 will be 2 multiplied to the quantity of 4x minus 1. There you go. Now let's try this. How about if you're given f of x is equal to 4x plus 2x squared minus 2 and your g of x is equal to 4 minus 2. 3x. Find f minus g of x. You may pause this video and take your time in answering. Go ahead. Let's continue. I will be showing the solutions for this and compare it to your answer. Check if we share the same solution. This time, we will be using method 2. That's the vertical method. So here, I copied f of x, which is 4x plus 2x squared minus 2. And this will be my g of x, 4 minus 3x. So after copying the given for f of x and g of x, this time, we are going to arrange the terms according to decreasing order of its degree. So we have like this. Okay. After that, we will use keep, change, change. So we will keep this as is. We will change that to positive, which is plus sign, and we will change this to this. So we have 3x minus 4. I hope you're able to follow. Making sure, by the way, that I'm arranging it and aligning it with the same variable having the same degree. So let's look at the first column. There's no similar term in g of x, so we'll copy that as 2x squared. The next column is 4x and 3x, so we are going to add those terms, so the result will be 7x, so we have plus 7x. Next is, we have negative 2 plus negative 4, it will give us, yes, following the rules and adding integers, will give us a negative 6. Right, so the answer now is 2x squared plus 7x minus 6. I hope you're able to follow. We're able to get the same answer? Oh, that's good. 
How about for the horizontal method? I'll be showing it to you for clarification purposes. That's method one. So let's look at the solution. Method one, horizontal method. So as you have noticed in the solution, we have here the first enclosed in parentheses will be our f of x minus our g of x. So I've used here keep change change. I keep this. I change that to positive, And I also change the sign of the g of x. So we have 3x minus 4. Then I combine like terms. So since 2x squared is alone, I copy that. And I combine 4x and 3x. So we have 7x. And for the constants, negative 2 and negative 4, that will give us a negative 6. So exactly the same answer using method 2, which I have shown earlier. So again, the answer is this. Hopefully, you're able to get the right answers. If not, then do not worry. You can always go back to that portion of the video showing the solution using method 2. And for this part, showing method 1. Just take your time. I know you can do it. What's more? Now let's check your understanding. It's your turn. I prepared here a five item assessment showing two functions in each number. So your task here is to find f minus g of x. For example, we have number one. f of x is equal to 3x plus 3 and your g of x is equal to negative 4x plus 1. So you need to find f of x minus g of x, or you're going to find f minus g of x. Again, for clarification purposes, you may always go back to the portion of the solutions showing how to properly subtract functions. You may pause this video, take a screenshot, or copy it in your mathematics notebook to give yourself more time in processing how to subtract functions. Go ahead, you may pause the video. If you're using the same module, then keep in mind that you're going to communicate with your teacher to submit your answers on your agreed date and time. Last one, what you need to remember. Keep in mind, senior high school students, that you can write the difference of functions in this notations. We have f of x minus g of x, or we can also use f minus g of x. Another note is you can subtract functions horizontally or vertically after arranging the terms according to their degrees. And last one is, the steps in subtracting functions are as follows. Write the functions into this form, f minus g of x is equal to f of x minus g of x, and reorder the functions by degree of terms and add functions horizontally or vertically. Well, that's it. Give yourself a round of applause for doing a job well done. If you find this video useful, then do not forget to subscribe and see you in the next lesson.